Right now you're watching me who are my guys, Brandon and his son Kane. Brandon is easily the best shooter I know. He's taught me a lot over the last year or so. He taught me drills and how to read different situations. But more importantly, he's taken me under his wing and been like a mentor to me. He's like family at this point. And King, that kid is special. The maturity he has to his game at 14 just doesn't make sense. The kid is extremely skilled. But more important than that, he's hardworking and humble. He reminds me a lot of myself at his age, except way taller and better at basketball. You may have noticed there's no audio for this footage, and there's a reason for that. Before I could press the record button that day, an old white lady rode her bike straight into my tripod, knocked the whole tripod and camera over. Luckily the camera lens didn't get scratched, the camera's just fine, but my mic broke. I didn't know that until I got home, transferred the footage, and there was no audio. Obviously I was frustrated and disappointed, $50 down the drain, and now this hoop session has no audio. This isn't how I envisioned the first hoop session I recorded with them going, but it is what it is. One thing I've learned so far on this YouTube journey is that being a perfectionist is only going to hold me back. If I kept deleting videos and starting over because I thought I could do better, I would have never start it. That's not to say that I'm not trying to make better content. Of course I am. But I have to just be consistent and improve along the way. It's almost a blessing in a sense. I'll be able to look back on this video in a year and talk about how bad it is compared to my new videos. I think it's important for any aspiring content creator to be able to look at their favorite creator's old videos and realize they didn't always have movie level production quality. Just because you aren't able to perform like the best doesn't mean you shouldn't try. That applies to everything in life. I was terrible at basketball when I first started playing. I was morbidly obese, uncoordinated, couldn't dribble, couldn't shoot. I would never thought I would be where I am now. And over the next few years, I hope to accomplish new goals I previously thought were never possible for myself.
Y'all see it? So I'm on my way to the park right now. Allergies fucking me up. That's probably why I sound like school work. Yeah, we're gonna go put some work in.